So essentially you're working with your fingertips in the back corner. So you got two lines come into it, two connectors. Not too bad. And on this model, you do not have to pull the wipers. I started to pull that one and then I realized I was an idiot and you don't gotta pull that. This is the old one. Then we have the new one. Essentially, you can see it's got one, two, three bolts on it. One that's long, some retaining ones. The nice part is they give you enough shaft where you can get a ratcheting wrench on it, which is nice. All right, guys, I kind of want to show you. Pay uh, close attention if you can. Here, I'll bring this back. I'm trying to get a good view for you. All right, you can't really get it on the camera. You might be able to see it there a little bit, but that plastic cap is stuck inside that housing. So that black piece that you see in the center has to be removed before you put the new one in. So just keep that in mind. All right, now you guys can see it. So see that black plastic? That needs to come out before you put the new high pressure fuel pump in. So you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. I've been scraping at it with a pick. Usually they just break apart, so you gotta be careful and try to pull it all out of there. Now, as you can see, I'll zoom out here. I have a mirror rigged up and taped to the firewall. Yes, I'm gonna clean it before I put it back together. But essentially, the flared end goes in like that, sticks in there like this. As you can see, we have a bunch of broken plastic debris that came from this piece. And you're gonna have to clean the rest of this stuff out of the inside of that um, valve cover or cylinder head I should say because the rest of that piece is in there so you're gonna need a pick you're gonna need to dig it out all right guys we got that out that is how it should look before you install the new piece of plastic all right guys, I'm gonna attempt to show you here. Um, I don't know if you can see that tan color inside the hole. You need to make sure that you can see that before you put the new plastic plunger in. See how there's no more black inside of there? The stock piece of plastic I finally got out. Took some finesse. I uh, had to crack it up with some picks and then I used a shop vac that I reduced the hole size all the way down so it could fit in there and it sucked the pieces right out. Worked great. So I know it's not uh, the best visual, but again, you know, this is a mirror facing the back side of the cylinder head. So that's about the best I can do as far as trying to show you. Yeah, it's not fun guys, you're using a mirror on this one, so we're ready to put the new one in. I'm going to show you guys kind of how it goes back together, you'll have a better idea of how it comes apart. But again, on this Cayman, um, you do not have to pull the wiper assemblies and the whole module piece up here like you do on the Panor Paneras or Panoramas or whatever you call it. Not a Porsche guy, but we're here doing Porsche repairs, so.